Welcome to uh, Senior Moments. This is a, an interesting program today. We're doing it with uh, the veterans of foreign wars here in Montpelier. This is a craft fair that is being handled by both the uh, St. Augustine's Church and the Northfields Veterans Place, where the vendors will be supporting these two causes today. And we have 25 vendors here, and uh, this is going to be a full day because uh, all of these people here have some great crafts, and we really uh, very excited about uh, having this beautiful day uh, to be here, uh, and I hope that all of the craftsmen uh, will do very well at this particular point. We'll do a couple of interviews, and matter of fact, we'll see what the, some of the uh, crafters are doing these days, and and get their ideas and what what the market is. You're on now, and uh, we, this is a panorama of the 25 that are here. We've got quite a few. We got a, really some excellent crafts here for today. I just hope that the people come out because these people put a lot of effort into doing what they do, and uh, you know their prices and it's almost all personal, and so. It really is a, a great, great place to have. My, uh, my, my wife just got here, so it looks like the, that part will be taken care of. <laughs> okay, but that's good. We're here today, you know, with this uh, wonderful craft fair that was going on at the VFW. And we, uh, we'd like to talk with uh, Michelle Smitty. Smitty. And she has an interesting product here because the scents that are coming out of here, matter of fact, uh, when she did a couple of fairs with me before, and she always has behind this uh, lantern and like that. And I was talk I looked over there and I saw her and I said, well, boy, she looks like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> if he only knew. <laughs> we'll let him think that. My, but Michelle has another job, too, as well. But uh, she, she's she been doing this for how long? This is almost my third year. I'm coming up on my third year with Sensi. Um, it's a newer company to the DS market. We've been around for about 14 years now. And it's all about home fragrance. So we have what we started with is our wax and our warmers. So you put a cube of wax into the warmers and the light bulb or an element warmer heats up the wax. It's all made with paraffin wax and it has natural and essential oils in it to get the fragrance. Um, we also now have a laundry line, a cleaning line. We have body wash, hand soaps, room sprays. We have scent circles to hang in your car. We have scent packs, and these scent packs are great to put in hockey bags. Come on, this is like Barry Montpelier, Vermont. We're good with hockey, right? These go great in the hockey bags to get rid of some of that stink that your hockey <laughs> players have. Right. Um, but what they were originally designed for is to go in a Scentsy Buddy. So we have buddies that we come out with, and they have a pouch in the back. And you stick the scent pouch back there, and this is a great little cuddle buddy for any child. And you can even get a French lavender scent pack and give it to them at bedtime to help them fall asleep at night. So that's my favorite little trick for moms. But we have lots of great items to choose from. A little bit of something for everyone's household here. Now, that really is working very well. And, and that's just with you're doing it with electricity, huh? Yes, and it's you, all You activate it with the... And so it must be a, a, a very popular... That, that sets up everybody. Matter of fact, way over there, it's... A, we, we, matter of fact, a couple of the people in like that are, are selling, uh, uh, you know, big goods and like that, and they see this scent over here. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. That one is our diffuser. So it takes water and natural or essential oils, and then it does have 13 different LED lights. Um, so you can interchange the light if you watch it long enough. It should rotate through the colors for you. Um, and you can actually set it on each one individually if you like a particular color more. So you can leave it on one color or let it rotate through. And it has two settings for the diffuser as well. It has a high setting or just a lower intermittent setting for the diffuser to put the fragrance out in the air for you. That sounds really great. Thank you, Michelle, Thank you. for doing this one. Let's try uh, Corinne Stevenson, who is, uh, is that uh, uh, 
Finnish or is it Swedish? I have no idea. Really? I, I married Never. into it. Oh, you married into it. That's <laughs> I know my first name's Greek because yeah. it's an odd spelling. Yeah, oh, um, that's right, Kor. Yeah. K K O R E N. Yeah. Yeah. But the last name, uh, I don't know. No and idea. This, and this is a uh, national firm, isn't it? I yes. Mean, that Ang- yeah, Ang- it's, it's pretty Dora. new to the area. Yeah. Agnes and Dora. Yeah. Um, it's women's clothing. I love it. Um, super soft, comfortable, made for everybody. Um, and one of my favorite things is almost all of it has one pockets. Of them yeah? I am. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of pockets on clothing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't you pull out a couple of these and see, see what we can do here? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got cute little tops with fun sleeves, gorgeous colors. We did a we did a uh, with uh, uh, fashion designer here not too long ago and like that. So it's kind of interesting that what you're doing, what you're doing right now. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a top, but it's meant to be long so that people can wear it. Some people can wear it as a dress. And how about the white and the dots and the nice cut? It's got a nice V-neck. It's gorgeous, and the softness. I don't. Know, what do you think? Very nice. Very super, nice. super soft. Yeah. yeah. Is this, that's a summer wear, though, huh? It is. Yeah, I would say it's a summer yeah. wear. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, let me grab a sweater. Yeah. So, and then I have some gorgeous sweaters. You can't miss that color. Yeah. And it's got pockets. Nice and flowy. And just soft and comfy. Yeah, it looks good. I love it. Love it. Like you said, pockets, those are nice. Yeah. 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 I'm a big fan of pockets. That's good. <laughs> On pretty much everything. Good. Well, I hope that everything works well, well for you today because we hope that there's a few more. more we got some great products here and like that. We need some people now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Carmen. Thank you. Yeah. This is a Jelaine. Just Lane. Just Lane. Just Lane. And that's an interesting name, uh, Just Lane. Yeah. And Just Lane Baker. Yeah. yeah. Some of the colors and stuff, the thing you're, you're doing is one. They really look really nice. Thank you. Thank matter you. matter of fact, they're on your card. It's a, a yeah. amazing. That's, a, that's that one right here. Yeah. That's on the card. Whoa. You want to pull it out. the other one. Yeah. No, that's all right. I'll pick yeah. them up. Oh, okay. Tell us what you do. I make table runners, quilts. Uh, tabletops, pot holders, pillowcases, purses, whatever, wall hangings. And then I have a friend that makes these. This is all hand done, too, right? Well, machine done. It is machine done. Yeah, yeah, by sewing machine. Oh, yeah. And I hem it by hand. I hem, do all the hemming by hand. Yeah. And I quilt it. But I you have some great it. colors here. What is it aniline dyes or is it natural dyes? I haven't got no idea. <laughs> so you just buy the fabric. And I buy you, I go to quilt stores and I buy fabric. Yeah. yeah. And do you use the old, uh, the, as a matter of fact, a lot of times that they use the old material and like that and make something new. No, I don't. You use all these, new, everything is new. Everything is new fabric. Yeah, exactly. New fabric. Oh, wow, well, they that. all come tumbling down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. <laughs> okay, Chris, thank you. Chris just, 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 just lane. Just, just lane. See that? Just oh, lane. Matter of fact, that's good. Yeah, yeah thank <laughs> you. Good morning, Gladys. I mean, matter of fact, Gladys has been around here for a long time, and she does this. I've seen her at many, many fairs and like that. So tell us a little bit about your product. My products are uh, runners, placemats. I even got little tiny Easter baskets here. For, oops, dropped it out. But little tiny Easter baskets here that I've made. And I got potato bags that you put your potatoes inside the microwave in these bags. For, and they cook for about four or five minutes. And they're all done and ready to go with all the vegetables that you can put inside. I also have pot holders, baby booties and slippers. I mean, excuse me, yeah, slippers, uh, mittens, scarves. And thank you. Sounds and like please, it. we're all so enjoying to have you come and visit us. We have a lot of variety of things in here, and it's really, really nice. Well, thank I hope you. that what we need now is some people. That's, well, that's we, what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> hope you all come. We I need, hope you all come. As a matter of fact, it's such a nice day out there. I hope yeah. that people come out. It's beautiful out. I'm looking yeah. out the window, and there's sun. Yeah, exactly. A little white Once snow while, out huh? there, but it's really, really After nice. After all the stuff that's been going on. Huh? Yeah, right. <laughs>
Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, Linda, this is a jewelry. Well, yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this new line? This sure. seems to be just touchstone crystal. By Swarovski. Is it? Okay, so yes. this is a, a big line? Well, it is. We are actually a party plan company, and we've been in business about seven years. But we have the Swarovski uh, heritage behind us. We have our own designers from Swarovski. And, they, of course, they've been in uh, business for 120 years. So we have a lot of really great heritage behind us. So our uh, goal is to have parties with individuals so that they can see our beautiful products. And as a hostess, they get free merchandise. That's good. So I work full time and I do this on the side um, because I love people. I love getting out and meeting different people. And then the, the jewelry here, it looks like... It's a, is it silver? Or? Well, we have many different kinds of metals. Mm -hmm. One of the great things about our products is that they are all nickel and um, lead free. So right there, that's good because a lot of people have sensitivity exactly. to jewelry. Yeah. So we have silver, silver plating, we have gold, we have a lot of pieces that are covered in rhodium, which is a really good metal that prevents people from breaking out. That's interesting. Yes. As a matter of fact, you have to think about that when you're... Absolutely. And, you know, because everybody adjusts to, a, you know, and has different sensitivities. Absolutely, you know? yes, yes. So this is a relatively new business for me. Um, I've actually been in direct sales since I've been 25, and I won't tell you how long ago that was, <laughs> but uh, with one company or another, and I've just joined this company. I'm really having fun with it, and I love the products. Well, good luck. Yeah, and well, thank you, thank you very, very much. much for yes. having yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This is the girl that did all of this. I mean, she really worked hard at putting this craft fair together. Bernadette is probably one of our best churchgoers, and with all of the things that she's done, she's just come back from the Philippines. She has a lot of people in the Philippines now at, that are church members. And uh, she has her own business, and she did all this is on top of that. And on top of that, she has a job of her own uh, working for the state of Vermont. So, Bernadette, you know, you're going to tell me all the good things that you do. So, tell me, start talking. I, <laughs> first time I organized this, and... Um, Thinking about the homeless people, this is a fundraising for the homeless people. Soup and kitchen in the Paris Hall and be for Veterans Place in Northfield. So all the people came over and participated to this event. We do appreciate it, their participation. And I'd like to thank Donald as my co-organizer. Without him, this is not going to be possible. <laughs> well, I don't know. You could have done it without me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the only thing I can say. And inspired me to do this and organize this because of the homeless people. Yeah, now tell us about your product. Because you uh, have a lot of good, interesting I things. Have, and you do a lot of this yourself. I have a mittens, handmade. You're and, talking into the camera. Okay. <laughs> I, have, I have handmade mittens and manufactured jewelry from the Philippines and I have a handbag that I made it myself and manufactured uh, scarves and I think that's, that's all of it and my sign is there yeah. I maybe you can get the sign over there by the wall. Well, as a matter of fact, we're going to shoot this here too. You're going to okay. tell us about this too. Okay. Yeah. And then you did this. And we have this one. Big sale, fundraising for the St. Augustine soup kitchen and other things. Yeah. And what else? And we got the uh, the, the print. And you got the regises. So this goes in here. I have this fundraising for the soup and kitchen and St. Augustine. These are goodies are donated by the Catholic daughter of St. Augustine. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Where does the uh, money go on? And then this is, a, you just got a donation here for a, 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 a painting. The so, painting somebody yeah, so, bought. So the a painting is donated the, by Rivas. Yeah. Painting is donated by Mr. Regis. Regis, who? Uh, coming. Yeah. And this is the sign for the painting. 
and she and he had a painting that was in the, the governor's quarters, wasn't it? Yeah, this one is displayed by the state capitol, and he donated it to us. I, okay. yeah. hey. I think I'm all set. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you, Bernadette. This is a young lady that, boy, I'll tell you, she's really energetic. As a matter of fact, I did a show with her not too long ago. She completely uh, developed out a show that she did at, in Barrie at the um, it was the, old labor hall. Uh, the old labor hall, which is, you know, quite a, quite a history there. As a matter of fact, I think she did a better job than we have. But uh, <laughs> but I, I, we learned an awful lot, and we do, we learned also that there's an awful lot of work that goes into building one, uh, one of these are. programs. <laughs> and and Debbie has a lot of different nice items here and like that. So tell us a little bit more about what you do. Certainly, um, all of my jewelry is magnetic. You just change the look of your work outfit or casual outfit with just a simple magnet change. Um, as an example, here's a silver bracelet with a purple in it, and then you put in a fuchsia, and it totally 100% changes the look. Or a black and silver is gorgeous in it. We have necklaces, keychains, badge reels. We also do custom photos. Um, you upload a photo from your phone, your tablet, or your iPad, and a week later you have a one-inch custom photo in your mailbox. Fantastic. Yeah. Very, very fun. And the magnetic is automatic. I mean, it, it, yeah, it, you they never don't lose fall it, out. Huh? No, they don't. You never I, fall out? No, they don't fall out. I work full-time for General Mills and with metal shelving day in, day out, and don't the, lose magnets. They're very, very strong. And they're very fashionable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like you say, reasonably you, priced. You can you can change with the you know if you have something mm -hmm. that's you know, brown on and like that you get your jewelry mm -hmm. can be coordinated with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Just like that. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. Deanna Dunstan is the. She, she's got some fantastic stuff here. There's a lot of glass stuff that you've got here today. Plus, you've got all kinds of other things here. Tell us a little bit about what it is. Well, the glass, glass things are ornaments to put in your garden. And they have, some of them come with lights that are battery operated. And they're on a timer. Huh? We need a little better. You need a little better? Yeah. <laughs> They're glass ornaments that go on the your garden, and they have uh, timers with batteries, and they go for four to six hours and then shut off. You can use them in your garden, or you can use them in the house for night lights. And then we have, these are called uh, full-face baby bibs, and they Velcro around the legs and around the neck, so it protects the full front of the baby. They're reversible, and then they have a burp cloth that matches with them. We also have what we call Angel's Kisses. They're a dark chocolate fudge cake filled with peanut butter cream. Absolutely no calories, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> really? It's almost Christmassy. Yes. yes, they are. And then we have uh, the over-the-oven towels, and they're called towel dresses. They Velcro around the waist, so they hang on the oven door, and they won't fall off. And we also have the other bibs, uh, bibs, other aprons, and we have uh, aprons for adults, aprons for children that have pockets to put crayons or markers in. We have beaded ornaments that are all hand done, no two alike. Yep, and those are towels that just hook over a uh, hook. And we have uh, the dog's uh, collars and the, dog, yeah. and the dog's frames. And We've anything, got a lot of variety here. Anything you would like to have done, we are willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Watch this. In matter of fact, she's using a drop spindle. Right. In matter of fact, uh, this is kind of interesting because she just uh, we just did it together, and it's a singing spindle, spindle spinnery. spinnery. The three S's. In matter right. of fact, she comes from uh, South Duxbury right. too, even with an S there. So this is quite interesting. So you're going to have to tell us a little bit about uh, Carol. This is Carol Johnson in Collins, uh, and so yeah, right. uh, Carol's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, what her product is. Well, I 
Uh, is this the mic? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's very I, powerful, so don't. You can just oh, take. Okay. It, it's like, he'll tell me if it if it's not coming. Okay. I've been in business for 35 years. I started my business in 1982. Um, in South Duxbury. Okay, so I've been in business 35 years, and um, I'm in South Duxbury, Vermont, and I teach spinning, knitting, crocheting, felting, dyeing, multicolor blending, circular weaving, and more. And uh, So you must these, teach too then, huh? Oh yes, oh, yes, yeah. I, I teach a lot. Yeah. Um, I travel to people's places if they can put together a group. A lot of uh, people have been coming to me since 1982, but so I do. So you use all kinds of different fibers. I work with lots of different fibers. That's have you right. worked with alpaca? I surely have. Hey, you have. Well, yeah. that's good. I actually. It, you know the Yaymara Indians of Peru. Uh, oh yes, in and fact. And that's my uh, my line. In fact, I, in I fact, you I, and I have met before yeah, at the international festival. Exactly. I think, in yeah, yeah. St. Mike's. So you're really good at it. Well, thing, anybody that I've, works in alpaca, I know, is a good spinner. <laughs> well, it's it is a lovely fiber. Um, so I have seeds for 2018 from my own garden, from my own plants, and I make felta ball kits, weave circular weaving kits, drop spindle kits, small felted balls. Um, this is soap from a friend of mine. I make button necklaces similar to the one I'm wearing, and um, I have gift packs of seeds and a um, few hats, some made from the, the actual weaving kit. So this hat, this hat is actually made from one the circular weaving kit. Um, so those are aniline dyes or are they natural dyes? Uh, these. Because um, you're a dyer, acid, so you acid, probably do a lot the, of different, using a lot of different min minerals and things. Right. The wool dyes, uh, the wool yarns I've dyed with acid dyes, um, but I don't do all the dyeing myself, just some of it. Oh, yeah. This, for example, um, I have dyed some of these wools, and some were dyed by one of my students. But what I'm going to do right now is some drop spindle spinning. If you'd like to see that. Yeah. Okay, so right now I'm wrapping the yarn that I just spun onto the shaft of the spindle. This is kind of so a... So how do you get the nubs out of it? Well, that's, uh, that's a long process depending <laughs> upon the fiber, the actual fleece of the sheep. See that? Uh, yeah. Some... It takes a lot of skill here. Well, it's... It's not hard. A, a six or seven year old can learn to spin. I taught my daughter when she was six. She's now 41 and she's been spinning for uh, almost 35 years. But you she should tell people about this. This is it's the not. oldest way of spinning. I mean, uh -huh. matter of fact, the machine wasn't yeah. even around and this was the way people actually created right. their, their garments. They're right, all over the world. All over the they're world. They're spinning using drop spindles. Isn't that nice? Look at how she does and, that. Um, See how fine it is? And she's got a well, gauge here. What do you figure can, that gauge is? I can spin much finer than I am right now. Right. This is a, this oh, is a worsted it. weight, yeah. Yeah. but I can spin See that? sport weight or lace weight. I don't have Look an example that. of that. And she does this just with her fingers. So yeah. that's how skilled she is. Mm -hmm. Well, now I need to wrap it on yeah. because I have uh, enough that it's too long for the space I have. Yeah. So I'm wrapping, wrapping. Keep in mind, this is not a prize-winning yarn that I'm spinning right now. I'm just demonstrating, you know, quickly. Right. Yeah. But usually I bring my spinning wheel, but because I didn't know if I would have enough space, I didn't today, and I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't be able to to show my my customers or the visitors to my yeah. booth my spinning because I would be tucked tucked back there. But the spindle allows me mobility, yeah. and I can actually I can walk around That's and right. <laughs> uh, just the way uh, shepherds did sure. as they watched the their sheep. And like that in the Absolutely, yeah. they spun and watched their sh their yeah. animals yeah. at the same time. Very well, good. Well, thank you for thank coming. You very, yeah, you I'm happy to be job. here. 
Teresa Doyle. She is a, one of the sponsors of this program here, and she's a junior vice president of uh, the VFW Auxiliary. Now Correct. it used to be just the ladies. It used to be the ladies now auxiliary, uh, but now a couple years back we uh, changed our name to the VFW Auxiliary. Took ladies out and it and allowed men to join under uh, their uh, uh, parents or spouses or other VFW members if they didn't have the actual oh, yeah. uh, you know, veteran it, experience. Fact, uh, because we're one of the principal uh, charities that we're doing here is the Veterans Park place yes. over in Northfield. Tell us a little bit more about how the VFW got involved in this and in their charity program. Um, well, we support several t different charities, but the Veterans Place is one. We go over and share dinners with them. We uh, do Christmas party for them, and many of our members donate to them on their own, uh, charitable-wise. And we became involved because, after all, is the Veterans Place. You know, as a matter of fact, this, this is a wonderful place because I remember years ago, and my guy going over there, and this used to be an old hospital. Yep. So they, they really was designed really for for veterans who could, you know, have their own place. Yep, yep, and that's good because, you know, they need their space, but they also need to be able to network with their patriot, you know, companions and people who have the similar experiences that they have had. And did you, do any of them come over here and participate in any of the activities here in the Montpelier Post? Well, I, I'm not sure because I'm with the auxiliary and even though we're in the same building, yeah. we don't attend their meetings because they happen at the same time as ours. So I'm not sure if their members are from over there. Uh, you know, come over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I see there. your commander here is Pat. He, uh, he just Pat had Kelty, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just had a little operation. He on just had an operation. Yeah. Too bad that Ticker. he can't yeah. be here today, but we yep. wish him well. Yep, he goes gives services through the VA, and then part of that is they ship him where they need to go, so he was down in Boston. So he got his work done down in Boston. Yeah. Right. Take and good care VA, of him. VA did us all for him, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. Right. Which was yep. very and important. His, his wife, uh, Sherry uh, Kelty, is our president for the auxiliary president. Oh, okay. So they've been working as a team this past year. So right. they, they really well, work hard for the for the organization. Well, this matter of fact, I was talking to Norman the other day, and he says, that, you know, this operation here is busy all the time. You know, in yep. matter of fact, they got all kinds of functions that are doing yep. they're coming in here for the next two or three months as a yep. matter of fact. Yeah, we we do a lot of things to, you know, get money in and, and earn money for our programs. The Northeast Fiddlers come in. Uh, we have several different groups that play cribbage and different things. Just like us and we're thank yep. you, we're thankful yep. to have and, this. Uh, this area is a great place for oh, yeah. an event like this because, you know, you've got the space, you got the tables, you got us to and cook you some you great for food. Thank you doing out back. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah, you very much, yeah. Teresa. <laughs> and thank you for coming in and, and using it because it's important. More the merit. Thank you. You're welcome. Father Julian, thank you for coming today. This is one of the merit back. Thank you. you know, Bernadette, uh, your uh, very your countryman and my dad has done a wonderful job here at this craft fair to support the church and also the veterans place in Northfield and the soup kitchen is really where we were uh, you know concentrating on and as you can see we got 25 vendors and like that so that there's a lot so yes 50 percent of this money from the vendors and like that is going to go to your church. So yes. tell us a little bit about, about the program. Okay, yes, yes. First of all, uh, I uh, would like to uh, thank all the vendors uh, who are participating in this, uh, uh, this uh, craft fair uh, today. And thank you for choosing uh, St. Augustine as one of your uh, you know, uh, recipient of the proceeds for this uh, affair. And um, um, the, we have a regular schedule for soup kitchen. Uh, we provide coffee and uh, 
and uh, you know brands and meals uh, lands for uh, those who would like to join um, our uh, brothers and sisters uh, who are in the city of Montpelier uh, and they they can stop in or uh, those who are uh, uh, those who are in need, they can step in any time and, and uh, during that day on Fridays. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, we really uh, are happy to uh, accommodate them for for that uh, you know soup kitchen. We have uh, a good uh, people working for the soup kitchen. Um, I am very much grateful to be here in this area, in this parish at Saint Augustine. I am blessed uh, with so many people who are active in the church and. Uh, even the community outside the church at St. Augustine, they're also very much helpful to um, to our faith community here, so. Have you seen um, any, uh, uh, the soup kitchen has been going for quite a long time. Have you seen the audience change or is they pretty much the same people that are there each time? Yes, thank you. Um, well, I really don't know how many people who will be coming every week, but I always do stop in. Um, I have mass in the morning and then holy hour on, you know, because that is Friday. And after uh, sitting down for a few minutes in the confessional, um, I go down to have some coffee. And I meet some people there in the morning, but usually uh, the bigger crowd will be coming a little later, like 11.30 or, or 11 o'clock. Uh, that is the time when they serve uh, the lunch there. But, but there are a few people who come earlier for have, to have coffee and they sit down there to read and, and you know, you know chit, -chat, chit chat with other people. So right. it's, 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 it's a, a social good, time too, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. it is, yes. And it is, uh, it is good to, you know, to see other people and, and to have a break. Yeah. And, 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 and the churches and of the, in the community and like that, do they, have a, at, do they still have them on Fridays or do they, you have the one on Friday and, and another church has it on Monday or Tuesday? Or? Yes. Uh, I, I'm not sure what days uh, they have in some other churches around, but it seems like uh, we have uh, multiple locations. But we, it just happened that at St. Augustine we have the soup kitchen for Fridays. So it's Fridays. Yes. If you want to come yes, to, Fridays. You want yes, to come to yeah. St. Augustine. Yes, yes. So thank you, and uh, thank you for uh, the organizers of this uh, craft fair. And thank you again for choosing uh, St. Augustine uh, as one of your recipients of, well, this, you much of the proceeds. Thank you very We appreciate it. Yes, yes, thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And hope uh, you have a chance to stop in or stop by at the craft fair here at uh, uh, VFW in Montpelier. It's still open until 3, three, three o'clock this yeah. afternoon, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. This is the swinging over 60s jazz band. They're very popular at the Senior Center here in Montpelier. And thank you for coming. They were really wonderful people. Amy Handy, Jennifer Curia, Olivia Galisa, Lindsay Wade, and Tots.